7th and, and Mark. Seventh and down now a block down there is Independence Hall. It's right, right next block over. It's Independence Hall. And the, it's you know where they uh, wrote the Constitution and all that. This is Market Street, yeah. See Market? Market. He didn't write the Constitution there. Don't don't confuse the Constitution with the Declaration of Independence. And for that matter, oh, I got it. I can go. All right. Uh, three, fourteen seconds. All right. That's uh, City Hall. Fill up the City Hall all the way down there. Now this is. Where Thomas Jefferson, well, see that the original building isn't here anymore. Uh, um, uh, so he now. Thomas Jefferson, so this is, well, let's just read this. It was intended to be an expression of the American mind. Thomas Jefferson presided on this site while drafting the Declaration of Independence. A little more than two weeks. Now he, so Thomas Jefferson is the, you know, he's the, he, he gets the most credit for writing the Declaration of Independence. Now the Constitution, he, he also had some input on that, but James Madison uh, gets most of the credit for the, the Constitution. Now, I'm not sure what these photographs show. Uh, uh, the house is gone. So what are, what are these, recreations? Now, Thomas Jefferson, you know, when you think of the Declaration of Independence, you, know, you think of you know, that sheet of paper and now, Thomas Jefferson did not actually do the calligraphy. He drafted, as it says here, we're drafting the Constitution, but he didn't do the calligraphy. That piece of paper that we all think of as the Declaration of Independence was, the calligraphy was done by someone by the name of Timothy Matlack. So he, he did the calligraphy. But, what I find fascinating here is this is, I believe this is Thomas Jefferson's desk. This is, he didn't write the kind of, he, he didn't, you know, as I said, he didn't do the calligraphy for the Declaration of Independence, but that, that's his desk, I believe. It's a portable desk. And it, it, you can see like the, where's the figure? Uh, uh, you can see, it, there's, it's, a, it's like a folding board. And then there's like a box here. And I guess he would keep all his writing, you know, his pen, all his writing supplies and stuff in that. But it was um, a portable uh, like this. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I need a rubber. Yeah. I need a rubber. There you go. This morning, then. Can I tell you what I need? Please. Well. Uh, well, so that was where Thomas Jefferson uh, the drafted the Declaration of Independence. Don't confuse it with the Constitution. I'm a, while I'm walking down here, I might as well show you the... Uh, the, the, the
might as well show you the um, Independence Hall. It's just a block down here. I've always been fascinated by this building here. And, and this is like a, I guess other people have been sort of fascinated by it too. It's, it used to be hot. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm just tripped there. I'm just twisting my ankle on that. All right. Yeah, see? See? Yeah, this, here we go. Property to place under the National Register of Historic Places. It's shiny, isn't it? Building erected in 1965. You can't say that, can you? Oh, yes, you can. 19, yeah, building erected in 1965. I've always been fascinated by this building. It's, it's, I guess other people have too. It's on the National Registry. Of, uh, but it's not Roman Haas anymore. It's, it's this. I'm not sure what this actually is, what they do. 610 Market. I guess it's an office building. I don't know. I know there's like a, there's a coffee shop here at the corner, which is where I'm gonna go after I finish making this video. Uh, so the purpose of this is to show where, uh, show you Independence Hall. So Michael, uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson, hey, why? So he lived it's like a block down the road and you wanna see that's, that's Independence Hall. Now it's there's a big bus. bells in that building here and uh, now this is sort of something new I don't know when I say new I mean <laughs> last 10 years I guess uh, this was a I believe this slave quarters ah What does it say though? But this, this, take a look at Independence Hall, famous. Now this was the State House of Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania. That's what this was. Now we call it Independence Hall, but it was the State House of Pennsylvania. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee, even though I'm not really 
I already had a coffee. And I, and I just I think I'll go get when I excuse me, go across the street there. Sorry for that out of focus. Well, Independence Mall Visitor Center. Horse, horse drawn carriages. I don't think they have that anymore. You know, they would line up along here. I don't see them anymore. Now, these, these buses, you, get, you can get on and off, but I mean, like, it takes like three hours. Yeah, I got music going, so I'm gonna turn this off.